Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well today we're going to look at the login module. If I roll down here. We've created a little login module here. So these are really useful if you've got multiple users for your site or people with certain roles that need to log into your site. And of course you can just put in your password or username and password and log in. And there we go, really easy to use. Let's get started. I've got a page here, I'm gonna enable the Visual Builder. Let's go down to where we wanna work and we'll delete that little module right there. Okay, I've got a row with two columns in it, one's bigger than the other, I'm gonna put our login in this first column right here. Just hit the little button to add a new module. Divi comes as standard with all these modules and you also get another 12 modules or so if you've got WooCommerce installed to sell products and it's a really great addition. So let's use the login module, there it is right there. And as you can see it comes up Put in whatever you want for your title. And put in as much or as little content as you want, obviously. And it's already populated with the fields for password, username, and it's got a button there. So let's just customize this slightly. I won't change the content because this isn't a real site. I've not really got a lot to say. If you want, when they log in, instead of logging into the dashboard, you can have it redirect so it just logs into this page. So if you want to restrict certain users to their own pages, that's a great way of doing it. So if you want it to do that, just go ahead and hit that button right there. But I'm happy to go to the dashboard for the time being. If you want the module to link to anywhere, you can add a link here. Obviously, if you're linking to your own site, you want it to open in the same window. If not, open it in a new tab if, it, if it's an external site. Background, let's just shake up the background a bit. Let's put in a color. And we'll throw in a background image. There we go, that's fine. And what I'll do, it's kind of hard to read, so I'll blend it with that back, black background color. We just roll down from the image that we just put in there an image blend right here play with these you can get some fantastic uh, effects going on I'm just gonna use multiply that's better you can read everything and of course we can go on to our design I'm not going to give it a an admin name it's obvious what it is you can change the color of the field the background the focus everything like that I'm gonna leave mine just as they are I'm happy with that you can add padding and margins make them wider change the font styles. I'm going to leave mine just as it is because that looks fine to me. You can add borders and all kind of stuff like that here if you want to. But like I say, I'm leaving mine just like that. That works for me. Text, well you can adjust all of the text, title and content right here. Realign it, give it box shadow, make it light, dark in color. Put that back to light. I think I'm going to leave mine on the left. And individually, you can do them here title text, take that down so it's still on one line. You can even take the letter spacing down a little bit, tighten it up. There we go. It's probably a little bit too tight. That's fine, like that. And of course, you can change the color if you want to. I think I'll leave mine as white. And if you need to, you can give it some box shadow. And that's gonna just let it stand out a little bit more there. Same for the body text, I'm not gonna adjust that, it's absolutely fine, but you've got the same options for that. Let's make our button stand out a little bit more. That black on that dark background doesn't stand out too much. Let's customize the styles for the button, just switch the switch to on. Text is fine, but button background I'm going to change. Use that purple again, I suppose. 
and for the border I'm doing the same thing and you can change the size of the border here now when we hover over it and this is common for all DV modules hover over the dark legending if you see an arrow click on it and it'll give you two little tabs here desktop is when your mouse is not hovering over it so I'm gonna leave that just like that hover obviously is when your mouse is hovering over it I'm just going to pull the color down on that sometimes you might like to do the border as well but that that stands out quite nicely for me so I'm going to leave the border just as it is without a hover color all right we're pretty much done roll on down when you roll over the button there's a little icon there if you want to change the icon you can do so here or you if you prefer not to have it at all you can do so there so I'm going to leave mine off for that don't want to give it any shadow because I don't think we'll see it there sizing is fine if you need to change the size of it you can do so here make it skinnier or taller put it in the middle or to the right of the column that it's in but I'm happy to have mine 100 percent and on the left okay going on down spacing don't want to change any spacing we could give it more padding and stuff but that looks fine to me spacing is obviously margin and padding we've done a module on that before now border if you feel like it you can add a border or you can make the corners curved by putting a value in up here as you can see that's now got curved corners as long as you've got that little chain checked there it'll do all four at once for you if you uncheck that you can put different values on each corner and come up with some crazy styles if you want to make all kind of different shapes by doing it that way but I'm happy to have them all the same and I'm going to make them all 10 there we go now if you actually want to put a physical board around it you can do so just put the amount in pixels up here I'll say 2 and we'll make that color purple too let's make it blue you can barely see it if I make it bigger you'll be able to see it that's putting a border around it but for me I really don't need a border so I'm just going to slide that back to zero you can add a bit of box shadow if you want to that will just lift it off the page slightly and I think we're done with our little little account login here so let's make sure it's going to work so let's save our changes save the page changes and exit the visual builder and here's our login down here now to make this work as you can see I'm already logged in to make this work I'm gonna open it in an incognito tab and we'll log in from there so let's just copy the URL control C open an incognito tab control shift N paste it in there control V there we go and let's roll down and there's our little login form let's test it's gonna work and login and there we have it as you can see it's taking us to our dashboard like I say that's a nice little feature to have on your site especially if you've got multiple users really e easy to implement so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.